Hey, hi friends. Today I am going to show you how we can execute a SQL query, Salesforce object query language, and Apex Anonymous block using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. Let's start. When you are in the VS Code, you just need to check that you have created a project and your project is authorized and connected to the Salesforce organization. If it is connected, you will able to see this cloud icon. If it is not connected, you cannot run any SQL query because SQL query will only try to fetch the data from your connected org. So let me first start with SQL query. To execute the SQL query, we need to move to the command prompt. So command prompt means VS Code command. Here you press Ctrl, Shift and P, P for parrot. There you may see a command called SFDX execute SQL. Just click on that. Here you type a SQL query. For simplicity I am just going to type a very simple SQL query command. Select ID from a name from a email from contact limit 5. Once you make sure that your SQL query is looking fine, you can just simply press enter. So when you press the, your enter key, you will get two options. Either to run your SQL query using the REST API or tooling API. If you know some of the objects, that means some of the Salesforce supported objects which are not directly supported by the REST API, but those are supported by the tooling API. That's why this second option is there. But for this simplicity or for this demo purpose, I am going to use REST API. Now it will take time. Oh, now you can see here, this SQL query, I asked for 5 different contacts and this SQL query is giving me the 5 different contacts I am looking for. And probably if you wanted to run one more SQL query, what you can do is, you can again press Ctrl Shift P key for parrot and clear the output. To clear the output, you just have to execute clear output command. The second command you can see here. So that will clear your console. You can read on your SQL command again pressing Ctrl Shift I or sorry Ctrl Shift P. Now you can again run a SQL query if you want. For example, you can ask for select uh, name comma uh, select Let's say name from contacts from accounts. Okay, and I am limiting it to uh, let's say five. I can do that now. Press enter this time. I am running it using tooling API. Okay? Let's see. You can see a subject type account is not supported because tooling API is not supporting account. Tooling API is only limited to some specific object. So what I'll do is I'll copy my query again and what I'll do I'll clear the output. I'll run my SQL query again using the REST API. Oh, yes, you can see here, I asked for uh, the accounts and its related contacts, okay, 
So some of the accounts are coming and this related contacts also this link over here. Okay. So I mean probably this command prompt is not that good for readability purpose. But still, if you want, let's say you are doing some Apex coding and you wanted to write a quick SQL query, this way, the way I'm trying to show you, you can leverage the SQL query command inside the Visual Studio itself without moving to your developer console or workbench kind of thing. Okay, so let's move to a different topic how we can execute, a, or I can say, how we can execute. The anonymous block apex code inside the visual score visual studio code so what we need to do is first thing we need to clear it done just click on this open editor okay and see if there is any mp file here you can liberate that if it is not just go to file menu and create a new file here you don't have to save this file you just you just leave it like that because this file we are not supposed to store it permanently just we wanted to leverage this editor to write our code so what i can do is i'm just uh, typing a simple apex score string my name equal to i'm saying cloud developer Let's assume that I wanted to, you know, convert it to uppercase and try to print it. What I will do, system dot debug, just to print it in the debug console. Uh, what I can do, uh, I'm just putting some identifier, let's say triple dash, and putting the same string, my name. Converting it to uppercase. How can I, how I can convert it to uppercase? I can use a string method to upper case. Okay, that's all. So whatever the apex code you wanted to write, you write here. Don't save the file. Then you press Control Shift P. P for parrot. Here there is one command called execute anonymous apex code with editor content that means whatever the code we have written in this editor we wanted to execute that code without writing any apex class or something just we wanted to check instantly what is happening let's see control set p p for parrot this time i'm trying to do it let's see if it is generating the output Oh yes, you can see here in the debug console it is printing cloud developer all in caps. That is what I was trying to explain you that you can write Apex code here without even moving to your developer console. Let's say any quick testing or any uh, code snippet you wanted to test directly without writing any class or without moving to uh, uh, developer console anonymous log. Or the debug window you can directly test it from here that's all for today anything else you can ask me in comment box i'll try to respond to you thanks all thanks for attending bye bye